since we started, we're always the best friends. I see his family, he sees my family, and we're still there. Of all his political allies, Sir Julius was perhaps the most prominent in the early days. Back then he was a 36-year-old businessman who had entered politics and thrust into a leadership role as Deputy Prime Minister to Michael Somare. Just days ago he had sent his old friend well wishes after hearing that Sir Michael had been put into palliative care. Today Sir Julius expressed sadness at the passing of his old friend. We've had a very exciting period together since 1968. Of course, at times we shared some very uh, attempts to uh, uh, exchange, but at all times we kept uh, a common denominator to unite Papua New Guinea of so many, so many languages and tribes. In September last year, said Julius sent for Sir Michael to celebrate independence in New Ireland. The end of our day began together more than 40 years ago was still going to be celebrated despite the travel restriction. And he was uh, fully recognized for all the things that he had done to bring Papua New Guinea to where we are today. I'm, I'm, I'm very sad our families join with the rest of the people of Papua New Guinea and the world to say um, how sad we are to lose uh, this great man, but that's the journey we all have to go. Despite their political differences, the Melanesian and Papua New Guinean willingness to forgive always shown true. The two men showed over four decades that political rivalry should never affect personal friendships. In one sense of of bringing this country forward. But in politics, sometimes we are divided in some, in, in some things and how fast and how far we want to go. But at all relevant times, privately we have great friends. So I have lost a great friend and Papua New Guinea has lost a great leader. May his soul rest in peace. Jack Lopave Jr. National MTV News.